What's good YouTube? A lot of people like to show off pack openings of the new set, but I thought in 1080p 60 frames per second we would bring you every single card that you will be seeing in Code of the Duelist in full clarity here. So you see the new foiling is even on our sneak peek promo here, Vendred Houndhorde. And instead of making you guys wait, let's get in to the secret rares. Firewall Dragon, perhaps one of the most anticipated cards already. A really good look at him. I, I imagine there's going to be different incarnations of him later on, as they already have a uh, sneak peek promo, or not sneak peek, a, uh, a jump promo of him in Japan. I was surprised this one, Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow, was Secret Rare as a generic, but man, did they work hard on that foiling. Look how cool he looks. Maybe a shout out to Cyber Knight. We've got Neen Grisu, the World Chalice Warrior. So you may have known these as the Star Grails. Really nice foiling here. He looks awesome. They did great for a boss monster there. Topological Bomber Dragon. Two plus effect monsters link four here. A lot of you guys probably already know what a lot of these cards do. You can look them up. If not, this is more show to show off the foiling. As you see the new... Secret Rare Fling here, even on that Earth, that Earth on the Secret Rare is Secret Rare. It's really awesome. Really reminds me of the Ultimate Rare Foiling. Here's Lumina, Twilight Sworn Shaman. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Twilight Sworns. Uh, I, I've been finding myself still playing Light Sworns uh, overall rather than Twilight Sworns, even though it's Light Sworn in the name. Trickstar Reincarnation. Now, this is one of the hype beast cards of the set, and at Secret Rare, you're going to have a trouble getting a play set. And finally, Vendred Reorigin, one of our TCG exclusives. Secret Rare. If you didn't know, it's basically a kaiju, but it targets and then restricts how you're going to summon the rest of the time. Now, let's get into those ultra rares going down the line. Spellbook of Knowledge, by far one of the most anticipated hollows, and they really went all out with the, the foiling on these, and one of the best arts in the game, March of the Dark Brigade. I think that's already an LLDS playmat for its art. Trickstar Light Stage is looking pretty nice. The fans of the anime might be happy with the archetype, but not that it's really hollowed out. Castle Link here. Looking great. Trickstar Holy Angel. I've got to say, with the Link monsters, it, you can really tell they're not ritual monsters with how the hexagons and pointers are. And they they look real nice. Uh, there's a ritual rare in the set that I'm going to show you guys later. And I'll, I'll actually save uh, Holy Angel aside to compare to her. Punishment Dragon looking real fierce. Really nice. Again, I'm more of a fan of Judgment Dragon. We've got Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. Nice. World Chalice Gar Dragon, one of the better Star Grail cards. It's not a vanilla. Also gets a graveyard effect. Or GY as it's now known. Trick Star Candina, the Stratos of the deck. Definitely one of the better Trick Star cards. And we've got Salvant Driver. Card games on motorcycles with the guys in the cards on the motorcycles. Next up, we've got Goki, the Great Ogre. Got something on my hand. Ooh. Ib, the World Chalice Priestess here. These cards look so nice. They worked real hard on the foiling for their first Link set. Arm, the World Chalice Blade Master. Their eyes are hollow. That's so cool. I would say these are some of the best hollow foils they've done. Mrs. Radiant. All the jewelry. Goki Rematch. One of the best cards of the set by far. Break Off Trap Hole. Already trying to counter the Link Summons. Heavy Storm Duster, definitely something I would suggest picking up, picking up a playset from the set. Target up to two spell or traps on the field, destroy them. You cannot conduct your battle phase, but 
it's not going to matter if you're in phase hitting their cards. Cyrus Wizard. I know a lot of people talking about Cyrus decks. I don't think they're quite ready to go into battle yet, but we're getting their first support. Trickstar, like Chorus. <laughs> Sorry to murder that. Uh, definitely one of the other better trick stars in the set. Goki Twist Cobra. The hollow foiling is amazing on the supers. Cracking Dragon, one of the boss monsters from the show. Uh, well, early on. And we've got Lila Twilight Swords Enchantress. I was going to say Sorcerer for the old name. Again, I'm a fan of the original, but this looks so cool. Next, we've got Trap Tricks Mantis. And finally, DDD Wave King Caesar. Caesar! So, we're going to go into the rares, and there's the rare version of the Sneak Peek promo and TCG exclusive Vendred Hound Horde. Trickstar Lily Bell. Goki Suprex. Goki Rise Scorpio. <laughs> Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. World Legacy World Chalice. So he's going to have two kinds of types there in a sense. Raikou, Twilight Sworn Fighter. Again, a fan of the original for me, but hey, the memes. Sword and Mouth. Motivating Captain. Re-X. Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Supreme King Dragon Clearwing. DDD Gust High King Alexander. Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. Induck the World Chalice Dragon. Actually, I'll leave him to, uh, to the side here to compare for a rare. World Legacy Discovery. Twilight Eraser. Back to the front, very good card. It's uh, a call of the Haunted in a sense. It brings it out in defense, though, uh, but it's not a continuous, so you're really able to bring back your monsters and not risk spell and trap destruction, bringing your monsters back down for once. We've got Recall. Some Pot of Greed lore here. And a Blind Obliteration. I actually haven't read this card. It's a Roll of Dice card. Roll a six-sided dice twice and destroy all face-up monsters with levels or ranks lower than the total number. That's pretty good. But guess who doesn't have a level? This Link monster. Revendred Slayer. So, here's kind of the clear difference between the Ritual monsters and the Link monsters. Kind of surprised that he's just a rare, but hey... I almost feel like the blue might be paler, but maybe I'm just crazy. I remember my Necros being so blue. And finally, we're going to get down to the commons, but I just want to show something that I never really thought of, and that's that if we stack all of the hollows from the set together, although there's going to be a sneak peek promo in here, I don't think it matters too much, it's actually... More cards than the commons in the set. I never really thought that through. So we've got our new Abyss Actor Trendy Understudy. Performer Pal Trump Panda. It's <laughs> so cute. Treasure Panda. Shoutouts to Linthe Yo. We've got Crowned by the World Chalice. Beckoned by the World Chalice. And we've got Chosen by the World Chalice. Very nice. Jane, Twilight Swarm General. Orbitable Hydra Lander. Perry Knights. Stack Reviver. Hackworm. I believe this was used in the show early on, too, to help summon Cracking Dragon. Predaplant Banksy Ogre. I, I really actually like this card. You can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one opponent's monster with a Preta Plant counter. So for Preta Plants, it's very similar to Kaiju 2. Junk Breaker. One have you even been good in 2007, buddy. The Ascended of Thunder. Zombina. Very, very cute. DD Vice Typhoon. 
Jack Wyvern. Launcher Commander. Backup Secretary used so many times in the show. Looks really cool. Galaxy Worm. This is one of the OCG imports I was super excited about. Uh, basically a tour guide, although it is restricted to you not having monsters. Uh, well, you control no other monsters to activate its effect, and it is an insect. Destiny Hero Dangerous. So dangerous. And that's another OCG import, as well as Passing Glider. And Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. Very nice OTK potential. I'm happy with them. Go, go, go. Aristria and Dexia. Wicked Acolyte. Chalam Sabak. And Infernity Patriarch. So most of the OCG imports seem to be common. FA Sonic Meister. Vindred Revenants. Samurai Skull. So many people were excited to see this one. Zombie support. FA Hang On Mock. Again, in card games on motorcycles within card games on motorcycles. FA Circuit Grand Prix. FA Downforce. Reven Dread Origin. That's spawn lore. Smile Universe. I know a lot of people are going to be collecting this one. So cool. Twilight Twin Dragons. We've got JD and Punishment side by side. Chillin'. Gravity Lash. Air Cracking Storm. World Legacy's Heart. Looks so cool. Emergency. <laughs> or Emerging Emergency Rescue to Rescue. Try saying that five times fast. Boogie Trap. Defense Zone. Really looked like UA support, and so many people were excited to think it was UA support. <gasps> nope. Pulse Mines. World Legacy Landmark. Dark World Brainwashing. Three Strikes Barrier. Supreme Rage. And Twilight Cloth, along with Transmission Gear, is the final cards here. So, that's the entire set for Code of the Duelist. I believe that should be every card in there. Let me know if I did miss any, but I believe I got everything here. And uh, I, I think they've worked really hard on the foiling. That's what I was most excited about. The Super Rares, I think, actually look the best alongside the Secret Rares. Uh, some of these just look incredible, but... It's going to be a really impactful set along with the new Master Rules. I can't wait to get my hands on some more of these and be able to throw together some decks to show you all later on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.